Hey, what's up guys, it's Seals. I just took a cold shower. We ran out of hot water in Korea, or just in my apartments. But um, wait, this is not what I want to show you guys. Woo, 50 seconds ago, travelers. Wait, what is this? Okay, so the story quest announced, hangout events, series two announced, and you can download patch 1.5, I think today. Yeah, 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 so we can do that, and it will be released 28th, for those that still do not know, it's gonna be on Wednesday. It should be patch days, always same across the world. Check the in-game notices. So we got the tweet for the weapon banner. Here it is, we'll talk about that as exactly as predicted. Well, there were some early leaks that you guys have been telling me about. So we got the character banner, boom! Gentry of uh, Hermits. Anyways, uh, we got Zhong Li, we knew that. We got Yanfei. What the heck? Why is she hanging out in the back? Apex Legends is now ready to play. Back at it, baby. Anyways, we got Yanfei in the back, and we got Miss Noel with the gaped, gaped mouth. Ooh. And we got Diono, which or who will be getting for free later on during patch 1.5 through the events. Now we've talked about John Lee extensively in this channel, how he will be coming back for 1.5 as a rerun, we've been talking about this for a month now, and you guys have been ramping up the questions. Should I get Jong Lee or Eula or what? Klee, maybe? Uh, um, so so Jong Lee for me is a character that makes this game super that makes you when you play this game super safe if you're still struggling. Maybe you don't like being knocked around when you're playing on your mobile mobile device. You don't like being punted around, your Klee's is getting punted. Just think about this. The days before the shield meta, I know we had Noel initially, and yeah, she has a shield, yeah, yeah, yeah. But before Zhong Li and Diona and all the shielders came in, the uh, the newer shielders came in, the life of Klee, right? Just think about her getting punted around, and Zhong Li, that protective freaking shield that he brings, just changes the just changes the game. That is just my opinion. Not only do we get the protective layer, we get the minus resistance. So that increases your damage. And he has a CC coming from his ult, his elemental burst, and his damage is not laughable. It's actually pretty damn decent. You can build him however the hell you want to build him. While there are some suboptimal builds, you can still get away with him in any build because of the 1.3 buffs. So Zhong Li, while he's not a must, he does make my Genshin life much easier. So I'll be going for him. I'll be going for it. Let me show you guys real quick. Where, where's my game at? So I'm gonna go for the Con 2, Constellation 2. Uh, because I am and I'm like what 79. Hello? Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I'm 79 summons in already. So I'm close to I'm past the salt pity, I'm close to the heart pity. So I'm expecting a five-star. Maybe I get him. I I don't, we'll see. But I'm chasing after Yan Fei. So I do have the Constellation 1 and this should be interesting with the new artifact, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, let me just pull it out real quick. So, two-piece increases HP by 20%, which will increase all of John Lee's damage. Not only that, increases shield. Four-piece, when an elemental skill hits an opponent. People are thinking that it's not when you just drop his pillar. Maybe it is, we'll have to test this out. But when it also pulsates, it's gonna give that stack of attack. Attack of all nearby party members is increased by 20% and their shield strength is increased by 30% for 3 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 0.5. That's not too important. This effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. We'll have to wait and see, but people are saying that every time it pulsates, it's going to refresh the duration. That's going to be insane. Shield strength increased. HP increased, attack increased. So you can see how with Constellation 1, 2, and 3, even without him, Zhang Li's crazy. His shield is perfectly fine. I've rocked just like a level 1 <laughs> weapon on Zhang Li with level 12 artifacts, and it was it was still good enough at level 80. I'm gonna crank him up all the way to 90 and just go balls the walls, just max the crap out of his support role. And it's just gonna it's just gonna be an overkill for the current content. It already is. I just wanna have this wall of protection that Zhang Li provides. And of course, with Constellation 2, I can spam his ult, refresh the shield, that is great. Constellation 3 is gonna, you know, 
increase the level so his shield is going to be more effective. So that's my take for Zhang Li. I'm excited for the rerun. Will he come back in the future? Most likely, maybe. I mean, <laughs> actually, I don't know. All right, so Yan Fei, people are saying that Yan Fei is going to be like better than Klee, but I don't know. There are some Klee fans that are angry about that. They're having this war. In my opinion, I think Yanfei is going to be so, so good. She is so well-rounded because she has everything that Klee lacks, like the stamina consumption reduction, as well as a shield coming from her constellations. We talked about that in the previous video. Overall, I think Yanfei is going to be a very well-rounded, fun combo point because of her seals. Um, but just everything about her, her passives, her elemental skill, elemental burst, normal, charge attacks, all working together to make a very well-rounded catalyst unit. As for her weapons, five stars, all of them are very great. Um, well, obviously, and the, most of the four stars are pretty good as well. Artifacts, um, people are thinking, you know, like people like I win to lose gaming, people like, um, oh my god, he was just on my Twitch channel, what the heck, I'm sorry. I'm not good with names. Razor Ninjas, okay? So Razor Ninjas, shout out to them. They have calculated that like the Crimson Witch set is gonna be good even with one stack. If you wanna go with the charge attack build, you can go with a Wanderer set. Depends on the rolls, right? Whatever you have built that have better rolls as well as vaporized melt comps. You gotta consider those things as well. So there's gonna be a lot of good options for Yang Fei. She's just gonna be spectacular. Now, if you already have Zhang Li, you don't want Zhang Li, you're not in that Zhang Li boat. And, you know, you just, you just want to save for maybe Eula or 1.6. That's perfectly fine because I don't think that Yanfei is going anywhere. She'll be coming back just like Diona. As well as the weapon banner right here. We got the Lithic Spear back. All right. One of the best four-star pole arms. If you have a Lithic Spear or you don't have, should you go chase it? Mm, considering that it's coming back like a rerun kind of thing. I'd say no, although Summon Shaper and Memory of Dust are pretty good weapons. Don't get me wrong, like Memory of Dust potentially has like the highest ceiling for Yan Fei. And Yan Fei with Constellations, she does have that shield, and you can provide a shield with other characters to get the maximum attack from Memory of Dust. But none of the five star weapons to me are screaming, it's busted, gotta get it, like Staff of Homa kind of deal. Um, I want to see what's up in the next weapon banner with the new 5-star weapon coming with Eula. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, should I even summon at all for Eula? That's going to be up to you. If you're a Eula fan, I almost said the S word. But if you're a Eula fan like me, then no questions, right? If you're still undecided, you don't know what is coming, and you're not particularly interested in Zhongli or Yanfei for now, then I would wait until, like I said um, in the previous videos, I would wait until patch 1.6 live stream, which is at least one week before the end of 1.5. So you'll have plenty of time to decide. So, I mean, I, I, I even have people who, who <laughs> regret having Hu Tao, who regret summoning for Hu Tao. They're like, oh no, if I waited just a little bit, then I could have maybe got Tertalia, Tertalia, or Venti. Hmm. I don't know how you can regret Hu Tao, but there are people that like that out there. So if you're going to regret like getting Eula, then I would wait until patch 1.6 live stream. But this weapon banner, mm, overall, it's not bad, right? The sacrificial bow, the flutes, we have eye perception. They're all okay, but that, that's the thing. They're just okay. Not, of course, nice to have, but for me, I'm going to auto skip this weapon banner. Hmm. Am I? Yeah, I am, okay? Because I'm waiting for the Eula's weapon banner. As for the character banner, <laughs> you know, I'm trying not to spend a lot in this game because it's going elsewhere into other projects, but Zhongli's Zhongli, man, all right? I'm not particularly fond of the way he looks, but I'm 100% behind what he brings to the table. I can back it up because I have used like low investment Zhongli and I can't wait to take him to the top where he belongs. Just maximize him just to see how ridiculous it can get with his not only support role, but his damage role as well. Properly geared to the teeth, not even with a five star weapon though, right? I'm just talking about just like level 20 artifacts with the new artifact set. I'm I'm really interested in that. As for Yanfei, I think she's gonna be such a fun character for us to you know, just use 
in the meantime, until we wait for whatever else character we're waiting for. For example, for me, Eula. So a lot of people think that Yanfei is going to perform so, so well. And she's going to be very fun. I'm excited for this character banner. I'm probably going to go for a couple Yanfei's. I don't know. We'll see what happens with RNG. If I could get to Constellation 6 for that one extra seal. And I believe Constellation 4 is... You know what? Let's just freaking open it right now. Let's just open it. Yo, Honey and Pack, you serious with the ads here? All right, I just, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm zooming out. Anyways, we need these right here from the GeoVisual bosses and the rocks from Leeway. Those are not hard to get. As for talent right here, these are from the new bosses, okay? What the heck is this, man? What is this anime stuff? Get this. So get the golds for now and wait for these for patch 1.5. So I guess day one or week one, we're going to get to talent level six at the least. So whether you have a show character or not in your party, Yanfei with Constellation 4 will get that protective shield based on our max HP. And at Constellation 6, that extra seal. Constellation 2 is the execute under 50%. I think it's what? 20% more crit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just checked. It is 20% extra crit to her charge attacks. So all her Constellations look crazy good. And her passives look crazy good as well. So Yanfei is gonna be one of the most busted four stars. And I don't know why they keep introducing only Cryo and Pyro um, characters when it comes to new four star characters. But hey, it's what it is for now. So in my opinion, while no banner is a must, I think this is a very stacked banner. Yeah, Eula is a damage carry, right? There are plenty of damage carries that can replace her down the road. And Zhongli is a character that stood the test of time so far. And he is an Archon or ex-Archon. Whatever you want to say. But just go for the characters you like, guys. All right? So you don't regret it. And that's going to be it, guys. Let me know down below what you think. Are you going to summon for this banner? Let me know down below. Thank you so much once again for hanging out with your boy. I'm out for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.